Welcome back everybody to another episode uh, from the Apple Tree. Today's episode we're going to be talking about Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Sonic is back in an all new movie. At the end of the last film, Sonic was able to save the day by defeating Dr. Robotnik and sending him to the evil dreaded Mushroom Planet. Sonic was able to stay on Earth and has become kind of like a kid to Tom and his wife. However, with Dr. Robotnik determined to kill Sonic after what he had done and heart use his power to um, power his evil machines, he eventually finds his way back to Earth with an all-powerful friend named Knuckles, the last of the Akinda warriors. It's up to Sonic and his friends, both old and new, to defeat Dr. Robotnik and protect the Master Emerald from him. If Dr. Robotnik gets the Master Emerald, then he will have ultimate power and be able to do anything that he would like, but Sonic won't let that happen. Tom wants Sonic to become the best hero that he can, and we see this throughout the movie. Sonic is very reckless in the beginning of the film, and he learns that he has a lot to learn before he can become a superhero like he wants to be. He wants to be like the next Batman. Um, Tom acts as his father figure and lets him learn, helps him learn some lessons that he needs to learn um, to become better and responsible. Um, Sonic is seen saving his friends on multiple occasions and trying to protect them as well. He always does the right thing, even though sometimes it doesn't work out as planned. The violence in this film is mostly animated. We see some missile explosions, gunfire, and one person is tased. We also see Knuckle and Sonic have a bunch of fist fights, punching, kicking. Um, there's no blood that's seen. Um, we do see at the near the end a big robot that causes a lot of havoc in the downtown, explosions, and um, fire. Um, but nothing, nothing. If you watch the last film, nothing much different from that. Um, we do see some inappropriate content that would probably fly over most kids' heads. Um, we hear a bride question about some person if she wha he whacked the person had been known something it makes a comment and it, it's kind of hard to phrase without knowing the context but it basically asks if somebody was a secret agent and it was the person that was a secret agent the person who whacked the bride thing and that's all that they say and the kids probably aren't even going to pick up on that we see some women that wear some shirts and social and cleavage and multiple men are seen shirtless, uh, especially in a volleyball game. Um, we hear some jokes of how to kill something, and a character suggests that they kick it in the groin. And we hear a couple jokes about that for a little bit. Um, Sonic wakes up after a long fun night, and some old woman is laying on top of him. And Sonic is very confused. Uh, we see one scene in a bar, and at a wedding, um, multiple people are consuming alcoholic drinks. The language in this film is very similar to the first, we hear three to four uses of the H word, four to five of the Lord's name in vain. There are a few um, S words that aren't the full word, they're kind of like goofed up and with the ending added to like something weird, so you'll hear words like shemushramabaladi, no one knows what, it's mostly Dr. Robotnik that says these words and nobody knows what he's saying. Uh, it's kind of, they, they're not going to use the actual S word in the kids' booths, they're kind of making up whatever they can. Uh, we hear one, some name calls like Donut Lord, and uh, we hear a couple uses of the D word and possibly one other moderate curse word. Um, in the end, I thought this was a good sequel to the first movie. It had some references to the first one. We also get to see Sonic become more of a hero. Some of his friends from the um, previous shows finally are showing up. It's not just Sonic, you got Tails, you got Knuckles. You got a few other characters that are showing up. You see uh, Dr. Robotnik look more like Dr. Eggman. Um, there was one thing that I couldn't decide if it was meant to be something more than it actually was, but Dr. Eggman, also known as Dr. Robotnik's henchman. Um, after Dr. Eggman was banished, the henchman had kind of like an obsession over Dr. Eggman. I can't just tell if this is just like a stupid henchman, like, uh, I don't know what to do with my life after my boss has been vanquished, or if he's actually gay. The reason for my suspicions is we see the henchman when he's lonely, draw hearts and the, the, his boss of his face and a cup of coffee, and, and I, don't, I don't know if that's what, what that is picturing but dr eggman doesn't feel the same way about this henchman he just goes along with whatever um it was there with with that put aside it's still a fun and entertaining film seeing sonic learn to become more responsible and growing up it, it's a good lesson for all kids to learn um and i was like i said it was very exciting to be able to see Knuckles and tails and 
one other character that I would recommend that you stay till the end for the post credit scene to find out who that is. Uh, what did you think of this movie? Did you like it? Did you are you excited for another movie? Did, did you think that this one was better than the first one or worse? Uh, let us know in the comments and click that like button so we can continue to make some content for you and subscribe so you can get notifications when we release another video. Thank you and have a good day.